Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, tonight, we are going to be doing a little bit more work on the hillside and the garden. We made a bunch of progress yesterday, but mm -hmm. we uh, have a problem already. <laughs> it's not a problem. So since we had our temporary garden where the rhubarb and the garlic were, um, it was basically just put there so that we could have a home for it last fall. It wasn't properly spaced or anything for it to grow into its final form, I'll say. So here is the plan for the garden, but I'm trying to space out the rhubarb so that they have enough room. And I want to have like some basics because that's what I've really missed in bus life. So we're going to expand here, but to make sure everything has enough room, Josh is going to have to expand the garden a little bit more for me. Yeah, I threw up all the dirt that was in the current garden spot up on the hill here. And I'll have to do the same for the next 10 feet probably. And I'll probably dig it into the hill just a little bit more also. But then I have to just try to scare up a little bit more topsoil. So hopefully I can find some. <laughs> yeah, my plan is to put Finish getting the rhubarbs out of the temporary garden so that you can do the grading. <laughs> and then once you're um, done with that, then you can come and help me expand my garden. Because I have some plants in the bus still that I'm kind of holding on because it's not quite safe to plant them with frost, I don't think. So I'm going to wait on those just a couple more days at least, even though I really want to get them in the ground. So... So I made a bunch of progress yesterday on this hillside, more than I thought actually, and the material is much better than I was hoping for. Yeah, I did basically two different sets where I pulled all the material and loosened it up with the backhoe end, and then just used the front loader of the backhoe to go and spread it out. And the spreading was done, a lot of it in the dark, and the final grading last night was done in the dark. So it doesn't look the greatest, but I'll show you what I've done. As I'm getting further, towards the shop, the rock is getting better and better. It's almost all nice fractured rock there now. Towards the garden end here, it was a little bit more clayey. Well, no wonder this one's so little. Look at it. Was it trying to grow in just a little tiny spot? This one was a uh, break it off so the other big plant fits, and if it makes it, it makes it, so. Pretty amazing. Cool. Yeah, basically as soon as the temporary garden is out of here, I'll dig all of this hillside out and just tie it into the driveway. That way we have a nice firm spot to drive for my parents because they're leaving this weekend. On to my uh, late night grading project here. It's a little pumpy uh, where I had a thinner lift and it just needs time to dry out. I'll probably regrade this and pack it in again because we're expecting some rain tomorrow. But yeah, we've raised this up about a foot, foot and a half in some spots already. So much easier to get in and out already. <sighs> that is a big boy. Onions. Whew. Oh, this will be so nice. Whew. Yep, that was a little root bound. bound but now it'll have room to grow and it won't be chomped on by our cat
Do you want me to move that one? It's not in yet. Do you want me to move that one? It's not in yet. No, you're good. Can I put it in then? Yeah, I'll start working something. Okay. You're good. Okay. Okay. Like, what the heck? <laughs>
this will probably be enough space for at least another week or two. Oh yeah. Okay, time to remove the temporary garden.
this material isn't quite as nice and clean as I would like it to be, so I'm just going to pile it up for future use in a non-driving area. I want to fill this area in up by in front of the backhoe with some good material. So this turned out really nice, really happy with um, the elevations. It's a little steep in the driveway, but eventually we're cutting this driveway down quite a ways. So, and I need to, once my parents are out of here, I'll do a 2% slope down this way and recut this. And then I'll blend this whole new area into that. And I'll also be uh, tying back to like these nice trees here doing a nice steady slope down to my excavation. And I want something that can basically just drive the backhoe up or be smooth enough to be able to grade and maintain. So it won't be a nice sharp drop off like it is now. Next step is to dig all this dirt that I'm standing on, just pull it down, loosen it up, and then we'll bucket it out of here.
So it's getting dark out now. I'm gonna make one more pass into this bank and pull that down and go throw it on the spoils area.